Welcome to the Eye of Truth. The footage you're seeing now shows the surface of the Sun. It was taken by a space telescope roughly nine years ago over a seven-day period from March 6 to March 12, 2012. An image of the Earth has been inserted here to show how massive the Sun is. The space telescope began recording this footage on March 6 at 1.36. On March 9 at 4.37, three days into the recording, we begin seeing a spherical object. We also begin seeing some streaks between the object and the Sun. On March 12 at 4.58, the spherical object pulls quickly away from the surface of the Sun. At the same time, the streaks between the object and the Sun disappear and a large shock wave spreads across the surface of the Sun. I can remember this like it was yesterday. Back in 2012, this footage spread rapidly to websites all over the world and everyone was talking about it. This footage is neither a scene from a movie, nor is it a CG animation. It is an actual recording of the surface of the Sun, downloaded from a website called HelioViewer. HelioViewer is a joint project established by NASA and European Space Agency, ESA. The goal of the project is to allow anyone to monitor the surface of the Sun at any time, at no cost. All footage for HelioViewer is taken by space telescopes installed either on Earth or outside Earth's atmosphere. The object that appeared in this footage has been estimated to be at least several tens of times larger than the Earth. The streak seen between the object and the Sun seemed to show the object absorbing plasma from the Sun in order to refuel. Of course, we cannot deny the possibility of this being simply a natural phenomenon. However, if that is not the case, this would certainly be more interesting than any sci-fi movie. Interestingly, the same mysterious object shown in this footage from 2012 has been observed several times since then. In 2016, a different space telescope captured footage of a mysterious sphere. However, a portion of the sphere was hidden by the Sun and we cannot see the shriek-shaped substances observed in the previous footage. In 2017, a spherical object once again appeared on the surface of the Sun. This time, streak-shaped substances were clearly seen between the object and the Sun. Then, on November 30, 2016, a single photo taken by HelioViewer was uploaded to the Internet. We can see a long streak extending from the surface of the Sun, with a white object at the other end. Zooming in on the photo reveals the shape of the object. Although there isn't any image of Earth provided to compare sizes, we can infer that the object is truly massive and clearly larger than the Earth. The next photos I'll be showing were taken by SOHO, another solar observation project established by NASA and ESA. In November 1995, NASA and ESA launched a space telescope into orbit around the Earth with the goal of observing the Sun. Since then, NASA has periodically uploaded photos taken by SOHO on the SOHO website. The photos I'll be showing were all downloaded from SOHO. Photos are taken by SOHO using a special method, and so photos of the Sun taken by SOHO look like this. Let's take a look at several interesting images. First is this photo taken on April 6, 2018. Several lines of light were observed around the Sun. Although you might think at first glance that these are reflections, take a look at this photo taken on April 10, four days later. The number of light lines has increased. Most of the lights are accompanied with after images. Everyone has probably experienced a similar effect when taking a photo of an object moving at high speed. An object moving like this will always leave an after image. What this photo shows is that the mysterious objects are moving at high speed around the sun. However, the mysteries don't end there. Take a look at this other photo. You can see many lights, all of which appear to be moving at high speed. Although the shapes vary somewhat from object to object, this object appears to have a shape like a butterfly. As I mentioned earlier, the HelioViewer and SOHO websites are open to the public. You can easily imagine the flood of inquiries sent to NASA about these mysterious photos. It's said that most of the inquiries were about whether these spherical objects, long streaks and illuminated objects, were caused by some kind of equipment failure or a reflection. Strangely, NASA has kept quiet about this. NASA's behavior has led to much conjecture, 
However, an incident that occurred in 2018 only made things worse. The National Solar Observatory, NSO, is an observatory located in New Mexico that specializes in solar observation. On September 6, 2018, this observatory was suddenly swarmed by FBI agents. Workers at the observatory were surprised to receive these unannounced visitors, but were even more surprised at what they were told by them. This observatory is being shut down due to credible security risk. Workers were then ordered to return home immediately. They didn't understand what had happened and were told that the FBI would answer no questions due to security. Even more surprisingly, a cordon was formed around the observatory after sending all the workers home. Many agents were placed around the site for 24-hour surveillance. A military Black Hawk helicopter was even sent to the site. During a subsequent press conference, the FBI announced that the National Solar Observatory would be indefinitely closed for security reasons. Eleven days later, on September 17, workers were finally allowed to return to work. Things seemed to have returned to normal. However, journalists noticed something strange. During the period where the National Solar Observatory in New Mexico was closed, other observatories both inside the U.S., Pennsylvania and Hawaii, and outside the U.S., Spain, Australia, and Chile, were also closed under orders issued by local governments. Interestingly, all of these observatories that were closed specialize in solar observation. It's hard to believe that this is all just a coincidence, and it seems only natural to be suspicious. Something caused these observatories to be closed for 11 days, and for some reason the cause had to be kept secret from ordinary citizens. Was it something that happened on the sun? Coincidentally, an amateur astronomer named Maria H. Gill had used her own equipment to take a photo of the sun during this same mysterious 11-day period, on September 11. Her photo shows a disc-shaped object near the sun. She took more photos on the following day, September 12. A large number of illuminated objects can be seen in these photos. All of these objects seem to be moving at high speed. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released an announcement on the status of the sun on September 11. The announcement mentioned that an extremely high number of coronal holes had appeared on the sun on September 11. An aurora occurring near Alaska was also observed for around one hour during this period. This is more than three times longer than the normal observation time for such phenomena. Based on these facts, we can infer without a doubt that solar activity underwent an extremely significant change during the 11 days that the observatories were closed. If the mysterious objects and lights seen in these videos and photos cannot be explained away as natural phenomena or equipment failures, the only other possibility is that this represents advanced technology capable of freely approaching the massive and ultra-hot sun and then safely returning. It would be the product of a civilization far advanced beyond our own. For them, the sun could be like a gasoline station, or they could be refueling the sun to control the solar activity cycle. No matter where the truth lies, I can't be the only one who thinks it might be somewhat unwise for humanity to accept to contact other civilizations out in space with our current level of scientific knowledge.